everybody, this is Lisa Washington with Big Tally Natural Skin Therapies, and I hope you guys are having an awesome week and everybody's ready for Thanksgiving next week. I know I'm super excited about going to see my family, but I wanted to do a quick vlog um, before Thanksgiving about acne. And, only, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually had a customer, a client called me um, a couple of days ago. She's 64 years old and she's dealing with acne and she's been to her dermatologist and she wants to do something that's natural. So I thought, hmm, I know she's not the only one out there that has to deal with adult acne. Sometimes I deal with adult acne and I'm in my mid-40s. But I do have a few select solutions that you guys can do at home that's natural. Now, of course, I have to suggest this. This is the first thing I suggest because she was looking for products. Is that our purifying cleanser was specifically created for people who deal with acne. And I really was focusing on teenagers who deal with severe acne because what we did is we took the purifying cleanser and we put activated bamboo charcoal in it, which actually helps detoxify the body from the inside out. But use it on the face topically actually helps dry those pimples up between three to four days and then you can see clearer skin in a week so I definitely suggested the purifying cleanser to her as well but here are some natural things that you can do at home if you're dealing with adult acne or teenage acne or whenever acne visits you okay so the first thing I like to do every day is drink a green smoothie. And the reason why it's so important to have a green smoothie every day, especially if you're dealing with acne, is because of the sulfur that is found in leafy greens. The sulfur that's found in le leafy greens actually detoxifies the body from the inside out. It also helps balance the pH in the skin. It also helps with inflammation and infection, which actually helps the skin to heal itself. So that's a good incentive to get your green smoothies in. Another thing that you can do to help prevent acne is to exfoliate. I know I talk about exfoliate, 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 but to actually make your own microdermabrasion at home. And the only thing you need to do this is a little baking soda and a lemon. And what I do is I take a little cup like this, put a little baking soda in it, a lemon, make a paste, and I actually take the whole entire thing, go over my whole entire face with it. I let it sit for a few minutes and then I wash it off with a warm washcloth completely. Use my cleanser, my serums, and my moisturizer. Just go with my regimen. But microdermabrasion, that will actually help prevent it. And if you do have acne scars, doing a microdermabrasion like twice a month will actually help clear that clear that up and lighten those scars up, especially with the baking soda and the lemon juice because of the acidity that's in it. Another thing that you can do that's really quick, I, I did this a lot, I do this with my teenage son when he gets a pimple, is tea tree oil, honey, and some apple cider vinegar. That's all I do. I take a little tea tree oil, a little apple cider vinegar, mix it together, and I just blot those little pimples that's on his face right after he's done his purifying cleanser. And the next morning he wakes up and it's pretty much dried up. So apple cider vinegar and a little tea tree oil is another solution that you can do. Something else that I know you have in your cabinet, it is honey. Honey is anti-everything. Antimicrobial, antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. Honey is awesome. And using honey, like I like to use honey on my face two or three times a month because of the fact that it actually helps detoxify my skin, but it gives me a natural glow, but it's very good at helping you prevent acne um, before we even get started and also help healing those scars that you may have. So those are some of my tricks and trades of dealing with acne in a natural way. I'm sure there's tons of more ideas that's out there, but I hope these were helpful to you guys. Until next time, remember to live well and to live beautifully. And happy Thanksgiving. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.